Let's talk about dot plots and measures of central tendency. We will use a dot plot to pull data to find measures of central tendency. How do we read a dot plot again? Well, we ask people, how many siblings do you have? The first thing we need to look at is, all the dots on the graph actually represent each person that was asked. So I'm counting it up, and I find out that there were 20 people surveyed in this poll. The data is for 20 people, and each person gave their answer as, this is how many siblings I have. When we look at the data, we will start with zero. We notice there are six dots on zero, so that means six out of the 20 people said, I have no siblings. Next, two people have one sibling, three people have three, four people have four, three people have five siblings, and two people have six siblings. We can list out this data in order, showing that there will be six zeros, two ones, three threes, four fours, three fives, and two sixes. And again, if you would count that, there would be 20 pieces of data because that is how many people were surveyed. Blocking off just the chunk so you can see it horizontally as the graph shows it vertically. The zeros, the ones, the threes, the fours, the fives, and the sixes. Noticing nobody in this survey has only two siblings. So now let's talk about mode. Mode can be thought about as the most often or the most frequent answer. I'm going to draw arrows just to kind of show how each one goes up. The highest one or the most frequent is zero. So the mode of this data is zero. Now let's talk about range. Range is when you subtract the largest piece of data from the smallest. But when you're looking at your data, notice this is a number line. There is no data for nine. There's no data for eight or for seven. So the highest number was six. The lowest number was zero. When I subtract, the range is six. Next we have the median. The median is the middle number when they're lined up. Luckily when it comes to dot plots, they're always lined up because they are on a number line. But one way to find the middle number is to cross off, well actually we're gonna list out the data quickly. Let's list it out so we can actually look that it is in order. And then, we can take to the dots, this is one way to find the median, we cross out a low number and then a high number, a low number and then a high number. And we're gonna go back and forth and back and forth until there's only one number left. You notice there are two dots, but they're both located at three. So that means the median of this data is three. Let's double check that with the actual numbers. Again, I cross out a low and a high, and what's left again? Three. Now we have the mean. The mean is known as the average, which you find by adding and then you subtract, or then you divide. So I've listed out all of the data again, but we're gonna go ahead and find the total sum of all the data. Remember, we have zeros, ones, threes, fours, fives, and sixes. We could add up each 20 all individually, but a little bit quicker than that is a bit of a multiplication or repeated addition here for each one of the numbers. If I have six zeros, zero, two ones is two, three threes is nine, four fours is 16, three fives is 15, and two sixes gives me 12. So literally just did a repeated addition, which is multiplication. Now I need to add up each of those numbers. So I'm gonna take zero, two, nine, 16, 15, and 12, and add those all together. Now down here I'm doing a little bit of grouping, which makes addition a little bit faster, but you can do it completely vertically, one number at a time. I'm just gonna group zero and two together, 9 and 16 together, 15 and 12 together, and then group again, 2 with 25, plus the 27 gives me 54. Now after you find the total sum, you do step two, which is the division. But the question is, what do you divide by?
to 54 divided by, here's the thing, we need to know or refer back to how many people were surveyed. The quickest way to do that, count up all the dots. How many pieces of data do I have? Oh, that's right. We had 20 pieces of data, or 20 people were surveyed. So we divide by 20, and we get 2.7. So the average, or the mean, is 2.7 siblings. You can't have 2.7 siblings, but it is the average of all of the people surveyed in this poll. So today's takeaways, we need to remember Mode is the most frequent, range is to find the difference, median is the middle number, and mean is the average. Thank you for watching.